Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog by your favorite young idiots. Not idiots, but yes, idiots. Oh no! I'm gonna land it through. Here we start off. Oh. Yeah, do it with the do it with the hoverboard. Oh. <laughs> oh. Almost, John. Almost. No, you lied. This is three. No, so, that was three, wasn't three? it? That was three. That was three. Yeah, this is three. This, this is three. three. Oh, no, I sound retarded. Oh. oh, you suck. Strike one. We should put something on this and spin it. I don't know what the hell that start to the vlog was, but today we are doing a few things. Oh my god, is another cab light out? There's another freaking cab light out. No, you took the bulb out, never mind. So John actually is going to be replacing the cab lights because we noticed one of them was flickering. We don't want a flickering cab light. So not only that, but they are the factory cab lights with lenses. They sell replace recon sells replacement lenses for these trucks that you could actually literally take off the factory uh, amber orange lenses, put new bulbs in and then throw tinted ones or clear ones on and then bam, you got it. But in order to get these cab lights off, which is why they offer lenses alone, is you need to take the um, headliner down or drop the headliner in the front. So John's gonna drop the headliner quick, completely swap the head or the um, the cab lights with brand new OLED tinted lens recon cab lights. These ones are not bulbs. They are actually integrated LEDs into the cab lights, unlike those are bulbs. And bulbs tend to fail a lot more than actual uh, units will. So these are gonna go in. Once that's done, we're gonna roll LG ND6 out of the shop, move the Lambo, and then Go film. All right, so bumper has been in the bed since we got back from ACI. We have not pulled this thing out. John, you want to grab a um, bumper, bumper rack. rack? Throw a bumper rack down, get that thing out of the bed. We have the fog light bezels right here. So we're going to throw these things in. We also have the fog lights done. We don't have the trim back that goes on the fog light bezels. We don't have those back. We don't have the grill inserts back and this needs to get repainted. And then the tail lights, I mean, there's tinted tail lights in it now, so it doesn't really matter. We can run these for now. But the tail lights, remember how I said, if you guys watched the first video of us actually pulling it apart, how I said that we got to put them together and then we also paint the outside, the lens. So these are pretty much done. They are done. They're sealed up and everything. But now they got to go back to Brody to get the border and get rid of that ugly red on the lens. So these, uh, we're waiting on the chrome trim. So we're waiting on a few things. But regardless, the truck can run and drive, and it already runs and drives, but we could drive it legally on the street um, by the end of the day today because everything's pretty simple right here that we got to put on. So we have everything completely painted and assembled. Um, quick note, if you guys want anything done similar to this or something crazy, just whatever you have, if it's a car, truck, mostly trucks, we enjoy doing the truck headlights a lot more than the cars. But um, 16 LED headlights are a specialty. That's like our biggest thing. That's what we used to do the most. And that's what we are, I don't know, known for. But regardless, headlights, mirrors, uh, tailgate handle, the switchback handles, the uh, Morimoto LED fog lights, recon uh, third brake light painted completely black inside and out because the roof is black, emblem, and uh, tail lights, of course. And then, yeah, bumper. All right, so first thing, we're gonna throw together the bumper, throw that on. We also got black lugs because the ones that were on this truck since the wheels were polished now they're black we're um chrome and we don't really like that got some black powder coated lug nuts oh forgot to mention if you guys want your lights built hit us up on instagram legends built lg ndsb -B -U -I -L -T. i'll put the uh the instagram in the link below look at that <laughs> nice Look how glossy these wheels are. Dude, that's insane. See the reflection of the green? That's crazy. Shoreline Powder Coatings LLC, brand for Connecticut. Slap this right on, because it's just clips. Ready? Damn it. There we go. So we're just waiting on the black inserts for the inside of the grill. Is the three pieces. One, two, three. Those were chrome. Remember, we had to get them sandblasted. Then go to Brody, so he's bringing those later on today. So this will be done today, but at the moment we do not have them. And look at how well this gray matches. The paint versus the wrap. That's paint, that's wrap. Paint, wrap. And then if you look at it further away from each other, paint, wrap. So I mean, there's a slight, slight difference, but as with any color match, even factory paint, if you go to a body shop, they still have to blend it because it's never a 100% perfect match. I would say that's pretty well for custom mixing a color because this was completely custom mixed. So if you guys want anything painted um, on your truck, custom mixed, and you're in the area, like I always say in my vlogs, Classic Coach Works over in uh, Southbury, Connecticut. Brody over there will hook you up. For lights, custom painted and built, you're going to have to come to us. He doesn't build them, but he does paint them for us. So, yeah. 
amazing work. But he, actually, he's gonna pop up in this vlog in a little bit. All right, so this top piece of the bumper was supposed to be black. We had labeled it black, but he painted it gray by accident. Now it has me thinking if we should keep it gray or just do it black. No, gray. Yeah, we're gonna keep that gray. What are we doing, Sam? Taking off the third brake light. I'm throwing on the recon. Boom! John, what are you looking for? The 10 mil? Are you sure? You sure you're looking for the 10 mil? I found it. Oh. 10 mil always walks away. This is one of my like nine I had. And you only have one left? This tape is so sticky. Aren't you going to TX 2K or something this Friday? Saturday. Cinco. That's gonna be cool. Speaking of paint, look who decided to show up. Wow, what the f are you wearing? What is that? Guys, this is our painter, Brody, right? You're, you're on the vlog. I'm glad I could finally make it. Anyways, while Brody's changing, we got mirrors done. Well, at least on the truck, we still need to just plug them in. Simple, because once we put in those switchbacks, which I'll show you right now, they are actually 100% plug and play. So we wire these up inside the mirrors. Once we get the mirrors on, basically, they're set up to literally just plug in and Drive. What the hell? One plug. Mm. It doesn't like click. I always forget about those things. Yeah, yeah. Where even are they on this thing? Oh, right over here. And then they're also gonna be white. Well, you can't see the white right now. That's the thing. But you should be able to turn key on into the white, or not key on, uh, light on. DRLs. I forgot about that. I'm retarded, huh? There we go. Now I hit the four ways. There we go. Look at that paint match. I was. Talking up your paint matching skills. Yeah, it's, it's that matches very well. He still hasn't even seen it because I gave him a piece of the wrap and I just said, you know what, match this. What do you think? Yellow. This is a little yellow. Oh, I mean, I thought that it had a little brown in it. Oh. It does, right? Well, yellow. Yeah. I don't know the painter terms. I think it looks good. Paint to wrap. Are you kidding me? What's this freaking front end? Look at the headlights. Tail lights are the only thing that you got to bring then. First appearance in the vlog. Holy oh shit. Oh my god. I left school for this shit. Hi. I, it's like what? One, 11 o'clock? Yeah. Sam. What's up, boys? Uh, I had school this morning. But I left. What's up, bitches? Otters is here. First reactions. That is crazy. It's like a little pocket car. A pocket car? <laughs> I have a pocket car upstairs. Yeah. They, they gave me a die cast <laughs> I model. Know, I saw it. <laughs> oh my god. Good for you. Holy Good shit. Good for Jews. My god. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're you're dressing the hair uh, hairdressing school fit. Yes. With the big boots with that I hate. No, these are new. I just got these. These are new. We got this thing on, just not tightened up. There it is. Brand new whip just got it. Woo! Jesus Christ. I was forgot. Alright. This, but Ferrari's not far behind. Quicker? Or like this one is um I don't know. Seems like it's all wheel drive.
that's ridiculous. I don't know if it's faster, if it's just because it feels faster because it's manual. Oh. No. Sam. Nope. Do it for the views. I'll do it for the views when it's warmer out. Sam. Oh my god. You're being <laughs> Oh my god. Had a dream you let me take the GTR for a week and I would just like whip it into my Don't driveway. Go. They've been lally gagging with the new Lambo. I've been putting in work. You wanna go do this call quick? For the winner of the Cummins? Yeah or nay? Yeah. Cause we're good to call him. Wait, you really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Table, table. John! Table. Cal, what? What are you looking at me for? Stop! All right, so it's time to call up the winner. Today is the, well, 12th of March and we have a official winner that we can actually call to um, schedule pickup of LGND V2. So as you can see here, I have the email pulled up by Mary Ellen Pervetti from Martin Kane. This is our, um, she handles all of our sweepstakes. So the email that she sent us two days ago was saying that we finally contact, or we contacted um, Ethan on following up on his uh, paperwork and it's all completed so now we can actually call him and schedule the uh, the trip up here so sent us a file as well i'm not gonna pull it up on the computer because it has his um address and stuff so i'm just gonna click download i know exactly what uh i mean you guys obviously know his name's ethan kroll but i'm gonna print the page it has his address and his um phone number and email so i'm gonna cross all that stuff out on the paper but just showing you the as you can see I don't know why I printed two sides, but LGD Supply Co. LGD V2 giveaway official winners list. This is official legal winner that they drew legally, and we didn't know the winner until they drew it and told us, "Hey, this is the winner." So Ethan Michael Kroll, one grand prize, a customized 2013 Ram 2500 valued at approximately thirty-four thousand dollars. Winner will also receive. Oh, it's on the other page. Twenty thousand dollars. Total value of the grand prize is fifty-four thousand dollars. So everything stated on here, that's exactly what he's winning. And uh, he already knows, so we're gonna call him up. Basically ask him what his reaction is and then um, schedule his trip up here. And we're gonna actually try and get him, we don't have the winner for the Ferrari yet, but today's the 12th, we're supposed to have it by the 14th. I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna ask him if he can wait till the 14th until we get the winner of the Ferrari. So we can call the Ferrari winner and then hopefully schedule them to get out here like next Friday. Hey, is this Ethan? Yes, this is. What's going on, man? This is Gio from LGND. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> the whole attitude changed. What's going on, man? Um, you good? Right. You you still stumped on what happened? Uh, yeah, I still can't even believe what happened, but... Well, you're not going to believe it until you actually come pick it up. But um, that's what I'm calling you for, man. Congrats on winning. Um, you, after you got all your paperwork signed, uh, then we can get you scheduled to get up here. Do you, Would you want to wait and then possibly come out next... Friday with the Ferrari winner so we can get you both out here on the same day? Yeah, I could probably make that work. So basically, as soon as I hear back on the Ferrari winner, what I'll do is I'll uh, we'll schedule an exact date for you to come out here. I'll book the flight for you, and um, you'll just hop on a plane, come here, we'll, we'll chill for the day, 
uh, go out and get some dinner or lunch, whatever it is, and then you can be on your way on your 17 hour drive in your new truck. Fuck yeah. <laughs> a lot of man, a lot of people are jealous, but um, congrats, you're 18 years old, you got, you got a pretty sweet truck. It's gonna be sick. Thank you. I'm happy to see what, what you do with it. But um, anyways, man, like I said, I'll get back to you within the next two days as soon as we hear back from the agency on the Ferrari winner and um, we'll schedule your trip out here. All right. All right. Perfect. All right, man. Congrats again. I'll talk to you later, all right? 18 years old, sick truck, 20 grand. Bang. Flex on everyone in his college. Now, the Ferrari, there's going to be five finalists. Obviously, bigger prize. People, some people are pissed that we do the five finalists thing. Yeah. I'm just like, why? First of all, it's a bigger prize, right? So why would you be pissed that we're giving you more of a chance? And when we draw one winner, which is what we did with LG and DB2, there's only one winner. So it's like, damn, I didn't win. When you hear five finalists, you're like, oh, I'm a finalist. Now I have yeah. an extra chance to win. These win. people mm -hmm. just are like, why well, five finalists? If I, I just want to know if I win. No. So we're doing five finalists and we have a, um, we're not doing a contest this time like we have in the past to pick the winner. A lot of people don't really like that. We think it's cool. But either way, this time, because of the Ferrari, it's a Ferrari, it's a pretty big prize, and people will probably get pissed if we do something like a contest. So we're going to do a, um, a spin wheel. We're just going to put the five names that we get on the spin wheel, spin it once, whatever it lands on, that's the one of the Ferrari. And that's it. That's the winner. The other five, the other four finalists get 100 bucks just for participating. If they spend 20 bucks on the giveaway, they, get, they just made 80 bucks. So either way, at least you don't lose something. We're giving four other people some money, and um, you have more of a chance to win. So Are you going to do that on live? That we can do on live, yeah. Yeah. Because that's an actual drawing that we can do. I mean, obviously, right, we can it's have quick. Martin it's not... do the drawing for that. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we can do that live. Oh, FedEx just came. And what do we what do we got here? What the frick is this thing? Long box? Yeah. You yeah. too. Yeah. Well, traction bars are here. So, these are from Flight Fab... Uh, yeah, Flight Fabrications. Just like the Cummins ones, except these, they actually powder coated for us. Red, Illusion Cherry, actually, to match the um, the powder coat that's already on it. So these are bolt on, just like the Cummins ones were. Sam, what the hell are these? Chica, take back. I, I don't know. know. I do not like Chica, take back. Chica? Yeah. Chico? I'm Chica. What do you mean Chica? I don't see Chica anywhere no, on there. she's that. Chica, I'm Chico. Oh. Yeah, they forgot to wrap these because they were inside the truck. Oh, Denali yeah. won't be done today. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. Either way, I mean, it, it lets, you know, Brody not rush the um, few pieces that he needs to paint. Traction bars came in too. Hey, you want to grab a um, razor blade? Well, at least unbox those. I guess uh, this vlog's not going to have the Denali done, which is a good thing. So part two is coming. More content. More content, exactly. Ah! But, um... We gotta go film for LG ND6. And is the front end on? No, that's part of the front end. We could throw the bumper on. Okay, put the front end. But we shouldn't. We'll wait. Don't be gentle with it. Just put it on the ground and open it. Here in my garage with my <laughs> linguini. <laughs> Hold it, Sam! Wait! Well, you're gonna scratch the No, I'm not. One day. No, I'm one not. Day. One day. Oh, the red? Ooh. Yeah. The loose cherry. Ooh, Ooh, baby! With the black! With the that's black! Nice. With with the shimmer in the black. Open up the other box. Those are the mounts. Those should be black. Really sweet. But these are sick. So it has red torsion bars already. So with the black back there, it's going to be sick. Oh, yeah. These are the front mounts for the frame. You just drill the frame. Probably the same as the Cummins ones. Yeah. So rear mounts. These are also 100% bolt-on. Take U-bolts off, the, bol the nuts on the bottom of the U-bolts, and then bolt this right up to your, um, your axle. And then this will be your new bottom plate. Again... We don't have the parts to finish it today, so we're gonna end this vlog here. We had a little bit of carnage. No, not really. We didn't do any burnouts, but 140 miles an hour I'm in Mexico. Yeah, so this vlog's over. If you guys liked the video, comment, like, and subscribe, as always. Subscribe, bitches. What is that? Comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next vlog, which will be, I don't know, but it'll be badass, as always. So, anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.